popular videos is um, installing Real Master on Windows 10. And now we've got a new version of Windows, I thought it was important to do a, an update to it um, and look at the changes. Um, there are there are quite a few. So I'm going to go from start to, to finish of actually getting Real Master onto um, a brand new machine. So I've got a brand new Windows 11 machine here, um, which is ready to receive um, Real Master. So first of all, we're going to check what COM ports that we've already got on the machine. Um, to, to start the install of Real Master, you want to have whatever controller um, completely disconnected from the computer. Um, and this will show you which COM port that this is on. So to find that, we right click on the Windows icon um, or the start icon and we go to device manager. This lists all the devices which are on the machine um, and we are looking for the, the ports. Now you may have this here, you may not. If there's no ports on the machine, um, you may not have it. Um, so on this one, I've got one which is the Intel Active Management Technology on COM port 3. Now we know that that's definitely not our controller because it's not plugged in. You may have a couple here, you may have none as I say. Uh, you may have an LPT port, an old printer port, um, but it's likely you're going to have one, but as long as this isn't connected, it's not this one. So the next thing we need to do is to actually get the software. So So we'll look, look for Hornby Real Master um, and then we'll look for this software for download. Right, so here was the first issue that I um, got while testing this. The official download link will take you nowhere. It doesn't work, unfortunately. So if anyone from Hornby is watching, I need to get that link sorted. Um, but what's important to read is this README file, um, which does state that yeah, you should read this before installing. Um, and I would highly recommend, even though you're watching this video, um, to read this uh, before you install, um, especially with the way that we're going to install this. So what I will now do is, um, is I will look for another link. I believe this should take me to the forums. Yeah, so telling you 1.7 is now available. But the link isn't here. You need to come back to um, this link up here, which is Hornby Real Master and Track Master. And then there's a pinned comment at the top. Um, so Real Master setup file for when Real Master is offline, which it currently is. Okay, so this is then going to take you to this this page and the download link that I'm going to use is this top one which will take us to a mega NZ website and it tells us rmsetup.exe which is 70.9 megabytes. Now this is a Hornby uh, website so we know that we're fairly safe downloading this one. Um, but what we're going to get here is we're going to get a couple of warning messages. So we'll click on download. Um, and this is why I would suggest if Hornby's watching to get this sorted because these, these warning messages are, are dire warning messages, but it is all okay as far as I can see. So um, if you're using Chrome, you'll get this message. If you're using um, Edge or Firefox, the message might be in a different place, but you'll have to do virtually the same thing. But tell us that the RM setup is dangerous, uh, so Chrome has blocked it. Okay, so we don't want to touch anything here. Uh, we want to come up to three dots, and we've got two sets of three, dot, three dots here, so it's the top one, which is part of Google Chrome. And we click on that, and then we click on Downloads. And you'll see we've got a very similar message to the message that was down here, um, which has now gone. So it's telling us RM setup, blob from mega.nz, and then the file. And do we want to remove it or do we want to keep it? In this case, we want to keep it. Um, but it is worth being aware that 
sometimes these files will be dangerous. Uh, it is giving us another warning, so we want to keep it anyway. And now it's actually going to do the, the, the download. Um, uh, it should just take a couple of seconds. So there's now two ways to get to it. We can click on show in folder, uh, or we can click our folder icon down in the middle of the screen and then go to downloads. And the RM setup is now there. Again, we're going to get a couple more warnings as we um, do this. So we can act, or as we highlight over it, we see the file description, which is Will Master Setup from Hornby PLC. If you see anything different to that when you do this, I wouldn't install it. Uh, make sure it says from Hornby PLC um, and the version number being 1.74.5.0. And we can then double click on that and then we'll get another warning. This is a Windows now telling us that it's an unsigned piece of software because Hornby PLC isn't a registered software vendor according to Microsoft. So we click on more information and then we see that the application's RM setup which matches what we've got here. Again, if that doesn't match, then you don't use it. Um, and then it's an unknown publisher which is the real cause of all of these little problems that we've had. It's because the publisher is unknown. So we're going to run this anyway. So you see that we, at the start, we didn't have the run anyway. We had to click on that more and then now we can run it. And now we're going to get another warning message coming up to tell us that our uh, user privileges need to be an administrator to install this piece of software. So do you want to close that from an unknown publisher to make changes to the device? Uh, and again, yes, we do. So it's unknown from the hard disk. If it says from somewhere else, again, if it says from the internet or from www.some website, I click no. Um, but you can click on more and then you can see uh, where it's come from. So we click yes. And now we get the real master set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close some of these windows and I'm going to check our port again. I'm going to keep that up on the screen. One. So I'll go device manager and I'm going to put that down there and keep our com port on the screen at all times now. So you can see what happens. So click yes on the setup and then the setup wizard will start. So we'll go through this. Real Masters 1.74 which is the latest as of today. And we want to click on we accept the license. Do read through this. I've installed Real Master a couple of times now, so I have uh, accepted it already. Uh, so to not accept it now would be like not accepting it back then as well. So yes, uh, we want to put it in Real Master. I'll show you where to find this uh, because again, it's different from Windows 10 to Windows 11, and we'll let it make all of the icons that it wants. And we'll just click on install. Now, as, as this is installing, you'll see that you've got lots of Hornby numbers here, um, which is preloading lots of images of Hornby um, logos and rolling stock. If you have a disk from a set, um, the setup will also include some um, things from the set so that it's preset up for you. So now we've got Real Master installed and we'll click finish. And again, we still don't have this connected. So we'll click on finish. So again, I'm going to load Real Master. So we'll move that out of the way a second. I'm going to load Real Master without this connected. Um, and I think this is where some people go wrong is to connect this straight away. Um, but I always load it first. So again, we've got our warning, which is the same warning as we've had before. And so that's Real Master now loading and checking for updates. It shouldn't find any because, as I say, we've just downloaded it from what we believe is the latest source. Okay, so now it's telling us that we can't communicate. We know it can't communicate because we don't have it plugged in. Um, so we click on the X here. And then we'll just accept the trial at the moment. 
and let everything finalize. Okay, so next thing we need to do is come into here and you can see that we're our DCC controller is inactive. We've got a red box here to tell us that there's an error somewhere. And we know that there's an error because we haven't connected it. So now this is the point where we're actually going to connect things. So the first thing that I'm going to connect is going to be my USB. And then I'm going to connect my power. And as you can see, we've now got a new COM port appeared, a USB serial device. So that's that's now connected and on with our, our green light. And we can now start making the changes that we need to. So this part will differ depending on which of the controllers you've got. So I've got an e-link. And we know it's on COM port 1. Oh, and now, because we've got the software open and the COM port appeared, it's not in our settings. Don't worry about that. All you have to do is close this window and open the settings again, and it will then read the configuration for the COM port. And we want to change that to eLink COM port 4. And then we will open up our COM port, which wants to come behind Real Master, which is handy. So we find this window and we go to port settings. Now you see that the port settings are don't match. Now the recommended settings is 1, 9, 200, 8, none and 1. And that's the same, it has to match on both sides. So we do 19200, 8, none, 1. You might ignore the, the flow control. And we click OK here. And once we've clicked OK on that and it's gone, we click to here. And then now it's telling us that it wants the pod rate to be 115200. OK, so. So we want to make that change. Um, although we do have the controllers connected, it did say 115200, so we change that there. And we come to here, and then we change 115200. If you have any issues, it could be the length of your USB cable. Um, it needs to be a fairly short cable um, for this, because it's a fairly high data rate. Um, if you do have issues with 115200, I would try um, 19200. Um, and then as long as everything matches up both sides, you should be okay. And again, now we've closed that, we can reopen and we can tell that our DCC controller is at version 1.07. So the, the last step is to actually close Real Master let it back up, let it save all of those settings. We'll give it a minute and then we reload it and we make sure that everything is connected. It's good. Real Master is going to check for updates and that's now also checking for updates to our controller as well. So any, any firmware updates, so that 1.07 if so a later version, it will check and update that as well. Okay, so we accept that, which just tells us we're on the trial. And then we come back into settings. And you should see uh, DCC controller version 1.07. And everything is connected. And there's no red box here. Um, and that means that we're now ready to start adding locals as per um, the previous um, versions of Real Master and all the other versions of Windows. 
um, and then to activate your software, you click the thumbs up and fill in the form. If you like to find Real Master from the start menu, you click start and then you've now got all apps, which will then give you a list. And then if you scroll down, we should have a new in our Real Master and then you can launch it from here, which is Real Master. Um, you also have all the guides as well. So that's how you install Real Master on Windows 11. There is a few little additional bits because of um, the driver signing. Um, I hope that has helped anyone who's been struggling with it. And the, the setup uh, is backwards compatible to Windows 10 um, by the, the right clicking on the start menu. And you would do the same things, uh, just you might not get the same warning messages as you get from Windows 11.